This is my indoor aquaponic system. It starts with a 35 gallon aquarium. And we have a pond pump in the back that will lift the water 8 feet. We do have a filter and we have a total of three um, air stones going for aeration. The water is lifted via this tube up to our supply which is fed by spaghetti tubes into each container. Put on a timer so that every 30 minutes it comes on and drips for 30 minutes and it sounds like rain. Once the water drips through, it goes into the, this reservoir to be turned, to be returned to the aquarium and it's filtered and clean so the aquarium stays crystal clear. Right now I have some oxygenator plants for the living room. I have ivies. I have peace lilies and I have a fern that wasn't that's not doing so well but it wasn't in the aquaponics system until a couple days ago so we'll give it time I'm also regrowing celery it's hard to see And I'm already growing onions. Some in that pot, which are really hard to see, and then those. I have cherry tomato seeds planted. I have tons of lettuce in here. They're so tiny right now, they're not you can't see them over the pot. But uh, so far this system has worked. I do fertilize the aquarium plants. I have some in here. The fish are supposed to be eating them, but they're not really eating them very well. There's some mini wart. I don't remember what that's called. There's some in the acaris. The fish have been very healthy. We feed them live feeds as much as uh, foods as much as possible. They get mosquito larvae, and we're going to start a Daphnia um, culture to feed them live foods. Um, they certainly have been providing the nutrients for the plants to grow. Uh, let me see if I can find a lettuce that's doing really well. Okay, this little lettuce has been doing really well. It was just a little sprout a few days ago, and this one is doing very well. But that's how the system works. I haven't tallied up how much it cost me yet, <laughs> but uh, that's my indoor aquaponic system.